Hey, I'm Cora Reef. I'm precious ecosystem. I host one third of the world on my in biodiversity. And not only I constitute a nursery for one third of the fishes that human consume, but also I'm the most effective coastal protection against erosion. The ecosystem services linked to my reef are estimated around 27 billion of euro each year. Today, half billion of people rely on me. Unfortunately, the world climate is changing and threatens my ecology and survival. This will deeply impact large human population in their daily life, including their own survival. Ocean acidification is one of the most poorly understood and communicated threats. The high CO2 emission from human activities is impacting the chemical balance of the oceans and leading to a decrease in pH of the seawater. These changes are impacting not only organisms with calcareous shells, but can also change the relationships between organisms. To deeply understand ocean acidification and its effect on me, an interdisciplinary research program named Acid Reef was developed. Leticia Hedouin from the Center for Island Research and Environment Observatory, or CREOB, is leading the project and mandated Alina Miel and Eric Rodinger from the non-profit organization Kaikai Kai and from the Institute of Research on Cancer and Aging in Nice to develop the communication strategy. In this context, Kaikai Kai developed an immersion project for the MSC Maris. Immersion project aims to understand the public perception regarding my threats, including ocean acidification, to further develop a communication strategy to raise awareness of my conservation. Hello, I'm Maeva Gisson. I'm a first year student of the MSC Maris program. I'm working on the Kaikai Kai immersion project started last year with the previous Maris student, Louis Vincent Lepeu. In the context of this immersion project, in 2019, a survey was developed in order to collect data. When I joined the team last October, my role was to spread the survey. It was quite challenging, but exciting and fun. The first feedback on the project were very rewarding and motivated us to go into the big data analysis. We collected answers for six months, and we were lucky to collect 1,041 answers. Then, another part of the project began, and many ideas popped in our brains. So we decided to analyze the answers of the survey by investigating four main aspects. The first one, the knowledge. What people have been aware of. Second, the risk perception. Their beliefs and opinion concerning the coral reef threats. Third, the connectedness. How they include coral reefs in their cognitive representation of themselves. And fourth, the willingness to change. At what point are they ready to change their behavior in order to act in a more sustainable way? As a global conclusion, we obtained some obvious and subtle results. As an example, we observed that people working in an environmental field have a better understanding of the coral reef threats, as well as people living at the proximity of the seashore or in novices. We also highlighted that the young generation have a different understanding of the coral reef threat than the retired people. These ideas are coming from our first observation, but many analyses are still running. I wish I could tell you more about it soon. That's why I will continue during the summer this amazing project and what one of you should join me as soon as possible.